Hello and welcome, I'm Mark Fraser from the Nature Walks with Mark Show. I'm reporting for Discovery News and we're exploring very remote wilderness areas, learning about the fascinating wildlife and fauna that lives there. And I'm inviting you on the exploration. Today I'm searching for moose. I want to better understand the types of plants they're eating in their natural habitat. Okay, here's an excellent example of a moose print. Look at the scale compared to my hand, it's enormous. You see, it's three fingers wide on each side of the hoof, and at least six or seven inches across it. This is a really, really big moose. Look at the size of that. Absolutely fantastic, just following this trail along, working its way down to a boggy area closer to the water. Fantastic. Following the tracks quickly pays off. See how well adapted they are. Those beautiful long legs. They're actually amazing swimmers. I want to keep a close eye on him because he's only 100 feet away. He's working his way out to the pond. I was actually filming from a boulder that worked its way out into the water. Well, when the moose got between me and the land, I was stuck. This cow's very calm and I was in no danger and I just made sure to give her plenty of room. She was the boss. Where she wanted to go, I get out of the way. During the heat of summer, it's clear why the moose like the water so much. Besides the source of food, it's relief from all the biting flies. Aquatic plants in the pond provide an excellent source of food for the moose. As daytime gives way to twilight, these majestic bulls were seen just across the pond. As I walked back to camp, I didn't realize, but I quickly got way too close to a bull. Had this been a month later during the rut, I would have been in big trouble. Suddenly I realize this bull is actually eating the small shoots of maple trees like that striped maple. It looks like we need to protect the forest and the watersheds for habitat for moose. The amazing thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more that you find. Wildlife habitat needs to be protected whenever possible. Animals need a home just like we do, and it's up to you and I to make a difference. I'm Mark Frazier, and I'll see you soon.